when I was a schoolboy, I was deathly afraid of public speaking. It was almost every time when I knew that I had to present my coursework to the class. I would fake a fever or try to stay at home on sick leave. And on those rare occasions that I really had to do it, I was just and barely able to do it without fainting if I did it like this. I would take out my paper and with trembling hands I would watch uh, over to the ceiling without seeing anybody on the audience and I would read it like this. And it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. But here's the thing. My fear of public speaking wasn't the biggest problem. My biggest problem in terms of my confidence and my future success was the action that I took for the fear that I had. The action that I took for the fear that I had. And what I mean by that is that at the face of my fears, I had two options. I had an option to face the fear and push through, or I had an option to back up and try to save myself. And now when I did backing up from facing my fears, the major emotions that I had were shame and worthlessness. And now think about the situation where you back up from your fears and feel shame. What does that do to your confidence? Will your confidence increase or decrease? I think the answer is obvious. So the problem is not the fear, but how you act at the face of your fears. And that's the how you act will contribute positively or negatively on your confidence. So today, I always try to keep in mind what Tony Robbins teaches, that when you feel like you can't, you really must. <laughs> so when you feel like you can't, you really must do it. So that's what I mean by playing at your highest standard. So the quality of the outcome is not nearly as important as the fact that you did it. And then there is the second thing. So I have a hobby of hitting the gym a few times a week. And when I go to the gym, what I want as the outcome is that I have broken a heavy sweat and I have made a great exhaustive exercise. If I leave the gym without breaking a sweat, I will not feel as accomplished as I would have felt when I did a great exercise. So here's the deal. When you start and engage in whatever you do, do you go all in? Or do you play low with your standards? That's the second key into unlocking the confidence in this exercise. So what does it do to your confidence if you don't play all out? If you don't do all of the work that you can do? If you don't live up to the full potential that you have? What does it do to your confidence? Will it increase or decrease? Of course it will decrease. So when you engage in doing anything that you do in life, make sure that you do it all out. And in the end, you will feel accomplished. In the end, you will feel that you have put in the sweat and you have done all the best you can do. <laughs> so if you feel like you can't do it, then you must. And when you do it, go all in. <laughs>